Hey guys, today we are going to talk about what is going on with the Armored Cat prices. Now, it is typical when a new set comes out, the previous set will kind of falter in price in terms of overall set expected value. But I've never seen anything quite like Armored Cat. And the reason I'm saying that is you have one $5 non-mythic, then you have three mythics over $10, and then the rest of it is meh. I cannot explain, I've been trying to research why this is the case, and yes, masterpieces do have some impact, but it shouldn't have this much impact on a recent set. Essentially, almost every card except Ronos the Indomitable has plummeted into oblivion. And they started out pre-order hype extremely high, and they saw no play. All the cards that people got excited about, uh, as for Toad, at least from strictly financial, right? You might think it's the best card ever. But financially speaking, these cards have not done what people expected them to do. As you can see, the cat dog god was started at $20 before dropping into oblivion and then has slowly and steadily ticked to $6. And interesting, I mean, this is a very, this is not a bad card in my opinion. Power level is a little weak, but after rotation, it should be okay. And this might be something intriguing. Rotation is going to hit four different sets. It's going to hit Battle for Zendikar. It's going to hit Oath of the Gatewatch. Battle for Zendikar has your big bad Gideon, right? That's the important card. Uh, the Battle and Oath have the Man Lands, which are semi-good. And then it's going to hit Eldritch Moon and Shadows over Innistrad. A lot is going to change when we get to Axeland. So much is going to change, and these card prices we see today, I don't think they're going to stay here. If anything, some of them will go up a ton in price, given the fact that they are Chase Mythics. As for Toad, this was a card receiving a lot of hype, as you can see, it started at 20 and then continued to decline down to $6.53, which is the story of every single card in this set. Now, you know, I believe Amaket is weaker sets, and you might be like, oh, what is it weaker then? Um, I'm talking about RTR, which should be obvious. RTR was a much stronger set. You got Abrupt, you have Revelation, you have cards that still see... I mean, Deathrite Shaman was so good that it was banned, right? And they banned that card because it was too good. Before it was banned, it was a four of in pretty much every modern deck. And that's why Jun was so good. People ask, why did Jun disappear? Its best card got banned, right? <laughs> Deathrite Shaman got banned and it fell out of favor. Now, when you talk about this set, I think it's a well-designed set. And there will be some a hidden gem. And because it reminds me a lot of, for some reason, it reminds me a lot of Dragon Maze, where you have one hidden gem in the entire set, and then everything else is kind of bad. Now, what is that hidden gem? I can tell you what it's not. I'm going to tell you it's not Ronos. I don't think he's going to go up that much in price. It's a decent card, but Nissa started at the $40, $38 price mark before dropping to $20, and now is at $775. Lots of hype around this. Lots of hype around her. Lots of YouTubers were saying that this was the best card ever. And it turned out not to be the best card ever. It turned out just to be any regular Nissa. Uh, so my gut feeling tells me that there's a card that we're going to look at today. It's highly undervalued. And that will be your one chase card in the set. That's what this set feels like to me. It feels like it will have one very valuable card, and the rest of it will be very bad after rotation. Yeah, I, I don't really know what to say. I, I'm a little appalled by the current prices of Amaket as well as the new set. The new set hasn't really... 
the price has not stabilized and it will fall quite a bit just like this set but i am surprised that it's not the fact that cards have gone down in price it's the fact that no cards have gone up in price right typically cards will naturally go down in price but you will have your elspeth sun's champion you will have your voice of resurgence you have your archangel you will have some cards that go up in price and that go from $2 to $10 or $15 or even $20. Elspeth went from, I think, $10 or $11 all the way up to $20, $22. Uh, voice went from $12.50 all the way up to $40. We haven't seen anything like that for some time. I mean, when was the last time you saw a card go up from $15 to $40, right? When's the last time you saw a card go up from $2 to $15. I'm sure there's probably a few cases, but put it in the comment description below. Gideon, you can see that he uh, was above 40 and now he is slightly above 10, but I'm sure you can eBay him for less than 10. I, I've just never seen such an, a... I mean, the claps make sense to me because it happens every set, but normally one, two, three, a bunch of cards, like Smuggler Copter actually would be a good, a good example of that before it's banning. I struggle to even say Smuggler's Copter because it just makes me mad. But yes, that would be a good example of a card that was undervalued and that has gone up in price. Um, Amiket. Hour of Devastation, I just don't see it. Like all these cards that we've looked at began at $30 pre-order and then now are like $10 or under on eBay. They're just not strong enough. Um, I don't know what else to say except after rotation, all the strong cards, well, you do have Kaladas and Aether Revolt. But after those two rotate out, and assuming the power level of Ixlon, which we've seen the power level, which in my opinion is not that impressive, there will be a card in this set that I feel like will be a $30 card. And I can tell you it's not the most expensive card in this set currently, which is the Green God. I just don't see the Green God being that great. Um, I think it's okay. It's meh at best. And it's not something... I'm, the problem with green is they're always going to print a better green creature, right? And that's what it is. It's a green creature. I don't know. My gut feeling tells me that something drastic will happen with this set. And there will be a few cards that are unknown at this time. And they will be very expensive because when the meta shifts, it really shifts. And when we lose four sets... We lose four sets, and in those four sets, we have some of the strongest cards. Liliana, right? Gideon. Um, we lose some of the Archangel, right? Uh, Avacyn, Archangel, which was saw a ton of play when uh, before Caldas and the Mardu vehicles kind of outraced her. Tireless Tracker. All these cards that saw a lot of play when they were in standard rotate out. And that will create this gap where a new deck will rise. If you have, if I had to pinpoint, if I had to choose one card, it would be Glory Bringer, because there's not many things we're flying anymore, unless you're pay playing a like seven mana Spinks, right? Which is not the point anyway. It does eight damage for five. The turn it comes out, that's a lot of damage uh, for five. And I've seen some red cards. They seem to be very strong. Red has, you know, board wipe now in terms of Hour of Devastation. That's very clean board wipe and kills Planeswalkers. I like it because you board wipe and then you follow up with this. And if they played a creature, great. You killed it and you get to do four damage to them. It's a lot of damage. Uh, it reminds me of Lightning Dragon from Miraz, where it was considered one of the best cards at the time. It costs four and double red for a 4-4 flying haste and you might think that sucks but back then it was pretty good and that was my favorite card because it did so much when it came out oh it wasn't lightning dragon that was the updated version it was volcanic dragon from miraz lightning dragon was the echo one which is two two red and pretty much did the same thing uh the four four with haste and that was considered very good when it came out 
then we found out the echo wasn't that great. And I don't know. Leave me a comment below for what you feel about this set. I am optimistic, but at the same time, I've never seen a set get devastated this badly this early on. And it would not... Buy singles, guys. Buy singles. Do not open boxes of this set. The, the expected value has to be horrific, right? Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.